Chapter 646, Plans There was not a single person in the large hall when Xiao Yan came out from the secret chamber. He felt somewhat surprised at this before he immediately shook his head with a bitter smile. He searched for a seat and set his body feebly onto it before exhaling comfortably. All the rushing around during this period had caused him to feel a little tired. Creak. The door to the hall was gently pushed open when Xiao Yan was recuperating with his eyes shut. Immediately, a long shadow was formed as the sunlight landed on a tall figure. Joy flashed across the pretty eyes of the lady who had pushed open the door when she saw Xiao Yan resting in a chair with his eyes closed. Immediately, she became afraid to disturb his rest. After a brief moment of hesitation, she began to withdraw. KK, why are you still leaving after you have come in? A warm voice suddenly sounded. This surprised the lady who paused her withdrawing footsteps. Her pretty eyes took a glance and saw that Xiao Yan, who was resting with his eyes closed, had unknowingly opened them. He was now looking at her with a smile. Are your injuries all right? Xiao Yu stood at the door. Her gaze looked in all directions as she softly asked. Since when have you been so gentle? Xiao Yan was surprised as he looked at Xiao Yu. This woman had been fierce toward him since he was young. When had she spoken with such gentleness? Xiao Yu immediately felt a little angry when she heard Xiao Yan's surprised words. This brat still had a glib tongue despite not having met for two years. However, it was also because of these familiar words of Xiao Yan that caused her unfamiliarity to slowly disappear and the familiarity of the past to slowly return. Xiao Yu became blunt after abandoning the unfamiliarity within her heart. She strode in with her long sexy legs, legs Xiao Yan had coveted back then, and walked into the hall. After which, she sat down on a chair beside Xiao Yan. Only then did she turn her head and look at the familiar face that contained a smile. After having not seen him for two years, this fellow, who had given her a great headache back then, had become much more mature. His young and delicate face was light and clear when he smiled, giving people a kind of unknown comfort. Have all of you been well during these past two years? Xiao Yan took the lead to break the silence. This was the first time he was alone with Xiao Yu after coming up from the underground. Although he came to Pan's Gate once the last time, he did not converse much with Xiao Yu and the others as he was pressed for time. I. Xiao Ning and Xiao Mei have also entered the Inner Academy. They are doing very well with the protection of Pan's Gate. Xiao Yu nodded her head and sighed. She immediately scanned Xiao Yan before speaking somewhat angrily. You should be more careful when you do things in the future. Do you know the despair that we felt in our hearts after you were swallowed by the heavenly flame? Now, you are the only person who can revitalize the Xiao clan. If any accident were to happen to you, it is likely that no one will be able to avenge our clan members. Xiao Yan let out a bitter laugh as he watched Xiao Yu whose eyebrows had gone vertical. Only after her words sounded did he sigh. One must have strength if one wants to take revenge. How can there be no risk when obtaining strength? Xiao Yan felt apologetic toward the younger generation of the Xiao clan. The reason for the Xiao clan to face such a catastrophe was related to him. The clan members had suffered serious injuries and death. Some of the parents of the younger generation had even lost their lives. Although he was not entirely at blame for this, the guilt was still present. Xiao Yu was speechless as she looked at the somewhat thin face of Xiao Yan. Although this person never displayed the worry in his heart on his face, it was likely that the pressure he felt was extremely great. He clearly understood his own importance to the Xiao clan. Moreover, there was the matter of Uncle Xiao missing. KK, let's not discuss this matter. Xiao Yan smiled when he felt the atmosphere become somewhat heavy. He changed the topic and teased. It has been two years. Has any lucky fellow managed to woo you? Chi, how can it be this easy to woo this lady? A flushness surfaced on Xiao Yu's face as she smacked her lips. She suddenly took out a few cards from her storage ring and handed them to Xiao Yan. These are currently the fire energy cards of Pan's Gate. 
Wu Hao and Hu Jia had said to hand these to you when you completely recover from your injuries. After all, you are the true leader of Pan's Gate. Xiao Yan was slightly startled. He did not receive it but simply smiled and shook his head. He spoke with a soft voice, I am not the only person who has credit for the current achievement of Pan's Gate. I might not be staying too long within the Jianan Academy. It is better for all of you to take care of these things. You are leaving? Where are you going? Xiao Yu's expression changed slightly when she heard this. Her voice was hurried as she spoke. I am naturally returning to the Jiama Empire. Xiao Yan smiled. However, a faint cold glint flickered within his dark black eyes. I have to settle the grudges from back then right. You are going to look for the Misty Cloud sect? I am also going. I want to take a look at those clan members who have survived. KK, there is no need to hurry. There should still be a period of time before I return. This time around, there will be a big intense fight when I return. Hence, I must prepare everything properly. I was chased out of the Empire once back then. I don't want to be chased out a second time. Xiao Yan waved his hand and said, As for all of you, it would be best if you remain in the Jianan Academy. This is the safest place. Don't interrupt. I am not visiting relatives this time around. Instead, it will be a true battle to death. You should clearly understand just how strong the Misty Cloud sect is within the Jiama Empire. Therefore, I cannot take any risks. Xiao Yu could only nod her head in a dejected manner when she saw Xiao Yan's stern expression with his lips tightly pressed together. Currently, the Xiao clan was in a battered shape. As those from the younger generation, they could only obey all of Xiao Yan's arrangements. Moreover, Xiao Yan was no longer that willful young man after these few years. The shoulders of the current him already possessed the ability to carry all the burdens. That boldness of his also caused them to have little choice but to obey. Relax. All of you can return to the Jiama Empire once I have settled everything. Xiao Yan patted Xiao Yu's shoulders and laughed. Xiao Yu nodded helplessly. She immediately seemed to have recalled something as she said, Oh right, cousin Xiao Li seems to be looking for you. It is best that you go and see him. Oh. Xiao Yan raised his eyebrows before nodding slightly. He chatted and smiled with Xiao Yu for a little longer. After which, he took the lead to stand up and search for Xiao Li. Second brother, are you looking for me for something? Xiao Yan coincidentally saw Xiao Li in the latter's room and immediately inquired with a smile. Are your injuries fine? Xiao Li also rejoiced when he saw Xiao Yan. The former pulled him into the room and asked in a concerned manner. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. His gaze paused on Xiao Li's body as he waited for the latter to speak. Xiao Li mused for a moment while being watched by Xiao Yan. After which, he slowly spoke, Currently, the Black Corner region has become chaotic because of the dissolution of the Black Alliance. This is not a bad opportunity. The Black Corner region might be chaotic but there are quite a number of strong people present. If we can gather them, they would likely be a great help when we take revenge on the Misty Cloud sect in the future. You want to establish a faction in the Black Corner region. Xiao Yan frowned slightly as he spoke in a soft voice, the people there are those uncontrollable terrible people who lick blood off their blades. It won't be easy to gather them. He <laughs> he, these people are indeed very vicious. If one wants to rein them in, one must be even more vicious than them. Those subordinates of mine now were also extremely haughty people in the past. However, they still end up obeying my orders now. Xiao Li laughed. It should not be too difficult if you are willing to help me this time around. Though Pan's Gate may possess quite a great potential but they are only students after all. Moreover, due to the environmental factor, you cannot be overly strict by requiring them to obey your orders. However, the Black Corner region is different. One can just kill those who disobey there. Therefore, it is much easier to control them. Of course, the precondition is that you possess sufficient strength. What do you say? 
Xiao Yan nodded slightly as he voiced his thoughts, those people from the Black Corner region do possess quite strong combat capabilities. If we can rein them in, there would be quite a lot of benefits for us. After all, the Misty Cloud Sect has many strong people and some things are difficult to achieve alone. Putting it this way, you don't have any objections right? Xiao Li rejoiced as he clapped his hand and spoke. If second brother has the ability, you can just go and do as you like. You can come and look for me if you meet any problems that you cannot settle. For those who have any objections, die. Xiao Yan clenched his teeth and waved his hand with stern killing intent. Ha ha, good. You are bold. Xiao Li laughed out loud. He patted Xiao Yan's shoulders and immediately said, However, there is still a big problem. What is it? Xiao Yan was startled as he inquired. The Inner Academy. Xiao Li spoke in a deep voice. The Inner Academy. Xiao Yan knit his brows. The Inner Academy has always possessed some fear toward some of the overly strong factions within the Black Corner region. The Black Alliance is the best example. If we were to successfully establish a faction within the Black Corner region, it is likely that it would incur the attention of the Inner Academy. At that time, Xiao Li smacked his lips and spoke to Xiao Yan, hence, you must convince Su Qian before making a decision. Otherwise, there will be trouble sooner or later. There might even be the possibility of meeting with swords drawn. Xiao Yan narrowed his eyes. A moment later, he laughed softly and said, You need not be worried about this. The Inner Academy always takes notice of those overly strong factions within the Black Corner region because they are worried that they will act against the Academy. Our intentions do not lie in this area, and there doesn't have to be conflict with them. Moreover, we can also help them monitor the other factions. This does not hurt the Inner Academy. This may be the case, but I still think that it is best to tell them about it in order to avoid trouble in the future. Xiao Li voiced his thoughts. His character was vicious and cautious. He basically did not trust anyone other than a couple of relatives. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. He stood up and said, All right. I will go and look for First Elder to discuss it. If he agrees, you can head for the Black Corner region. If this matter can succeed, we will no longer need to be the least bit afraid even if the Misty Cloud Sect maneuvers its entire sex strength. Chapter 647, Transaction You want to establish a faction within the Black Corner region. Su Qian immediately knit his brows when he heard Xiao Yan's words in the elders' meeting room. First Elder, I am also aware that the Black Corner region has been a thorn to the Jianan Academy. However, due to the environment, that place will always possess an extremely strong offensive capability. As the saying goes, it is better to scatter than to stop. If you want to end this trouble, it is only natural that you cannot do it by the most forceful method. Should Second Brother really manage to expand his faction in the Black Corner region, it would end up helping the Inner Academy by saving a lot of trouble. Moreover, we can also help monitor some of the factions which possess enmity toward the Inner Academy. Su Qian's reaction was not beyond Xiao Yan's expectations. The latter simply smiled and explained. The frown on Su Qian's brow relaxed a little. He was no fool. With his experience, he was naturally able to figure out whether things would be beneficial for him or not. Moreover, First Elder should also be aware of a little of my background. I have a deep enmity with the Misty Cloud sect. In order to take revenge, I will require quite a strong faction. The Black Corner region is not a bad place. Xiao Yan smiled faintly as he spoke, therefore, even if the faction were to expand in the future, it is likely that it would not be much of a threat to the Inner Academy. If First Elder does not trust my second brother on this point, you should at least be able to trust me, right? Su Qian's finger knocked against the surface of the table. He finally nodded a long while later as he said, What you say is not without reason. The Black Corner region has always been a big worry for the Jianan Academy. If a faction which is friendly to the Inner Academy were to appear, it would indeed possess an effect that is difficult to measure. 
In other words, first elder agrees to it. Xiao Yan was slightly happy as he replied with a smile. Ugh, what else can I do other than agree? At this moment, the blazing sky chi refining tower of the inner academy requires you to replenish the fallen heart flame in the long term. Su Qian helplessly shook his head as replied. First elder, these words of yours are spoken like. Xiao Yan is not an ungrateful person. I owe the inner academy a favor by obtaining the fallen heart flame. Won't I be completely shameful if I used this to threaten you? Xiao Yan spoke seriously. KK, you are not bad when it comes to this point. You view friendship quite seriously. This old me likes it. Su Qian fondled his beard and nodded his head, feeling pleased. He had always favored and valued Xiao Yan. This was not only because of his strength and his talent, but also his character. All right, let your second brother feel at ease and do it. The Black Corner region is far too chaotic and straightening it out a little also does have some benefit to our Jianan Academy. Su Qian waved his hand and spoke with a smile. Xiao Yan smiled and nodded. Are your injuries all right? Su Qian changed the topic. He smiled and asked Xiao Yan a question when he noticed that the discussion had come to an end. I, I'm fine. Little fellow, your constitution is really a source of envy. You can lively jump around after only recuperating for a couple of days despite suffering such serious injuries. Su Qian smacked his mouth and revealed a face filled with envy. This kind of nearly unbeatable kind of constitution was indeed something that others coveted after. Xiao Yan smiled. His constitution was this strong because it had been forged from a countless number of sufferings. This world did not give free lunches. One could forget about any reward without any effort. What do you plan to do next? Don't tell me that you want to go to the Black Corner region to help your second brother. Su Qian's finger tapped gently on the table as he asked. He is able to handle the matter of the Black Corner region himself and will send someone to inform me if he really need me to intervene. Xiao Yan shook his head and mused, I will still remain in the academy for a period of time until I settle the problem regarding her. Of course, there was one other matter. That was to quietly practice the open mountain seal of the God Seal technique that Sun Er had left behind. A de class high level do technique. A do technique of this class would likely have an extremely powerful strength. If he were to successfully practice it, it would undoubtedly become another trump card of Xiao Yan. It would also increase his chances of victory in the future battle with Yun Shan. However, he needed to keep this a secret. Therefore, it was only natural that Xiao Yan did not mention it. Her? Are you talking about that Dozone class woman? Su Qian raised his brows and immediately asked somewhat curiously, just where exactly did this woman come from? Why have I never heard of such an expert around this place? Xiao Yan hesitated a little upon hearing this. When he thought that this was not considered a secret, he shrugged his shoulders and gave a brief explanation of Queen Medusa's origin. Tisk tisk, how unexpected. She is actually the legendary Queen Medusa. Moreover, she is a Medusa after evolution. No wonder, Su Qian's face was filled with surprise as he smacked his mouth. He immediately spoke teasingly towards Xiao Yan, but, little fellow, you are quite strong. You even dared to provoke this kind of woman. I heard that successive Queen Medusas were all extremely cold-blooded people who killed humans like killing chickens. It is unexpected that she had intervened to rescue you. That is really unbelievable, back then, an evolved Queen Medusa had appeared on the continent in the past. Coincidentally, she was molested by a young master from a top-tiered faction. In the end, that woman charged into the faction and went on a massacre, decimating that faction. From then on, the men on the continent took a detour whenever they saw Queen Medusa. They are all afraid that they might end up leading their faction to destruction if they were careless. He <laughs> he, do you know just how lucky you are now? Xiao Yan rubbed the cold sweat off his forehead. The previous Queen Medusas were indeed frightening. There was no need for any reason to kill someone. Hopefully, 
this current Queen Medusa could be a little more reasonable. I will be more careful. Thank you First Elder for your reminder. Xiao Yan smiled bitterly as he cupped his hands toward Su Qian. After which, he walked out of the meeting room in front of the brewing smile in the latter's eyes. Su Qian watched Xiao Yan's disappearing back. Only then did he teasingly mutter with a smile, however, this fellow does not appear to know that despite having such an intense killing nature, Medusa truly loves someone until the end once she has been subdued by him. This fellow, tisk tisk, his luck with women is indeed quite great. Xiao Yan once again hurried back to Pan's gate after leaving the meeting room. He informed Xiao Li of the good news. The latter was also quite happy upon hearing that the Inner Academy did not oppose the plan. He immediately reminded Xiao Yan about some things before he hurriedly left the Inner Academy and headed for the Jianan city to summon his subordinates. After which, they headed into the Black Corner region to take the opportunity to expand their faction. Xiao Yan was helpless in the face of the impatient Xiao Li. He could only allow the latter to leave. However, Xiao Yan had repeatedly reminded Xiao Li that he should send someone to contact him as soon as possible if there was any trouble. Currently, Han Feng from the Black Corner region was dead, and the Gold Silver Brothers did not dare to stand out. Given Xiao Yan's strength, it was already sufficient to sweep aside all those people on the so-called Black Ranking. Xiao Yan's life became quiet after Xiao Li left the Inner Academy. He stayed within Pan's gate for another two days before he was finally unable to resist his curiosity for the God Seal skill. Once again, he found an excuse to enter the vast deep mountains. The deep mountains were vast and unending. The lush green color continued to extend all the way to the end of one's sight. A wild wind blew over and the entire mountain range emitted a hua hua sound. Xiao Yan was seated cross-legged on a huge rock on a somewhat empty mountain peak. However, he did not immediately begin to practice the God Seal technique. Instead, he raised his head and looked at the empty sky. A moment later, he helplessly opened his mouth and said, Show yourself. I know you have been following me. Xiao Yan's voice had just sounded when a spot in the sky began to fluctuate slightly. A well-proportioned, graceful, beautiful figure appeared out of nowhere. An ice-cold bright gaze shot toward Xiao Yan's body. Are you seeking death? Medusa stepped gently in the empty sky just like a fairy who was riding the waves. However, the killing intent on this fairy was a little too dense. In the blink of an eye, she appeared in front of Xiao Yan and spoke coldly. Don't tell me die all day long. I am also aware that you are unable to kill me now. Xiao Yan waved his hand and laughed bitterly. What did you say? Queen Medusa's eyebrows were vertical when she heard these words of Xiao Yan. Her long eyes were filled with a dense, cold killing intent. You should clearly be aware of what I said. Although you have merged with the spirit of the heaven-swallowing python, you were also influenced by it. Therefore, you have been unable to hurt me, and even frequently follow beside me. Xiao Yan sighed as he studied Queen Medusa whose face became uglier following his words. Don't think that the heaven-swallowing python can influence me forever. I will be able to kill you sooner or later. Queen Medusa's voice was like glacier. It was void of any excess emotion. We can perform a transaction. What do you say? Xiao Yan rubbed his somewhat painful head and helplessly spoke. Queen Medusa did not have the slightest reaction to Xiao Yan's suggestion. These past few years, it was due to these various transactions that she finally ended up being entangled with this fellow. I can help you completely remove the influence of the heaven-swallowing python and allow you to become a true Queen Medusa. Despite having already decided in her heart that she would ignore any sweet words of Xiao Yan, Queen Medusa's heart still pounded intensely when she heard the latter say this. Why should I trust you? Queen Medusa's long pretty eyes narrowed into a lazy arc as she coldly smiled. Xiao Yan waved his hand and a shadow shot from his sleeves. Finally, it was thrust into Queen Medusa's hand. She took a closer look, only to discover it was a scroll. A couple of ancient words were imprinted into her eyes when she slowly opened it. 
This was a medicinal formula. The medicinal pill that it could refine would coincidentally treat the condition of being influenced by another spirit, something that Queen Medusa was facing. This is a tier 6 medicinal pill, soul recovery pill. The medicinal ingredients and other things needed to refine the medicinal pill are not on this scroll. If you agree to my terms, I will help you refine it in the future. What do you say? Xiao Yan spoke indifferently. Medusa's expression was volatile as she folded the scroll. Her voice was still icy cold as she inquired, What's your request? You will follow beside me for one year. You are not allowed to have any killing intent toward me. If I ask you to intervene when necessary, you are not allowed to reject me. Xiao Yan smiled and continued, Once one year is over, I will help you refine the medicinal pill. At that time, you can do as you wish if you still want to kill me? What do you say? Queen Medusa's eyes flickered. Her heart descended into a conflicting struggle. KK, as long as you obtain the soul recovery pill, you will be a pure Queen Medusa in the future. You will not be influenced by anything. This kind of freedom has a hefty price tag. Xiao Yan's laughter reverberated beside Queen Medusa's ear. It was filled with allure. Medusa's delicate hand suddenly tightened. Her icy cold gaze stared at Xiao Yan as her clear, cold voice caused a joyous arc to be lifted on the corner of the latter's mouth. All right, I will do as you say. Chapter 648, Practicing the Open Mountain Seal Queen Medusa gave a cold snort when she saw the bright smile on Xiao Yan's face. She made the decision in her heart that she would definitely turn this fellow into 10,000 pieces in the future once she escaped the influence of the heaven-swallowing python. Xiao Yan smiled and sat up from the huge rock. He said to Medusa, In that case, we can be considered companions from now on. We only have the relationship of business partners, not companions. Queen Medusa schemed her sleek red lips, and completely destroyed Xiao Yan's thoughts of bringing their relationship closer. All right, all right, a business relationship. Xiao Yan indifferently spread his hand and smiled before saying, However, since we are going to be together and one year is so long, I cannot simply keep calling you Medusa, right? Why don't I help you pick a name? Otherwise, other people will know your identity once I call your name in the future. There is no need to concern yourself with it. Queen Medusa merely replied coldly to Xiao Yan's good intentions. Why don't I call you Cai Lin? I think that this name really suits you. Xiao Yan continued speaking on his own, feeling not the least bit concerned that this name was a little Philistine. TL, Cai Lin, means colorful scales in reference to the colorful scales on the heaven swallowing python. Get lost. Queen Medusa was irritated by Xiao Yan's endless words, which caused her to be furious. Her pretty eyes were filled with coldness as she stared at the young man in front of her. However, when she saw the bright warm smile on the former's face, the fury in her eyes somewhat dissipated. She coldly said, Queen Medusa is not just my name, but also my status. I don't need you to change my name. Once she said this, she turned around and rushed into the distance. You have already transformed into a human. Not the half-human half-snake form of the past. Therefore, you naturally need a name. In the future, I will call you C.A.I. Lin. Saying Queen Medusa is far too troublesome. Xiao Yan raised his head somewhat recklessly, and cried out loud to Queen Medusa in the sky. Queen Medusa's body paused slightly. Her eyes flickered for an instant. However, she did not cry out angrily this time around. Her body moved and she transformed into a light figure that rushed into the distance. Additionally, can I trouble you to help me keep an eye on my surroundings and not let anyone disturb me? Otherwise, if an accident happens, our transaction will be null and void. Queen Medusa completely ignored Xiao Yan's loud cry. Her body flashed and she disappeared into the horizon. No one knew if she bore Xiao Yan's words in her heart. Xiao Yan smiled slightly when he saw Queen Medusa's disappear. He had finally settled this big trouble. 
with the so-called soul recovery pill transaction, he would no longer need to worry about when that frightening woman would appear and kill him. He he, Han Feng did indeed own a rich collection. He even possessed a medicinal formula for a medicine with such a strange effect. It is thanks to him that I am able to settle my problem this time around. Xiao Yan rubbed the serene sea storage ring on his hand and softly laughed. If it was just him, he naturally did not possess a medicinal formula like the soul recovery pill. This thing was something he had taken from the serene sea storage ring while he was recuperating. Now, I can finally relax and practice the god seal palm, Xiao Yan stretched his lazy waist and smiled slightly. He once again sat down cross-legged on the huge rock and shut his eyes. His mind moved as some information slowly flowed past his heart. Xiao Yan carefully read the training method for the open mountain seal. It was a long while later before he knit his brows and opened his eyes. This god seal technique is indeed worthy of being a D-class high-level Do technique. The difficulty involved while practicing it was many times that of the flame-splitting tsunami. It actually needs to open three specific qi paths before one can condense a palm and maneuver Do qi to unleash the Do technique, Xiao Yan knit his brows tightly. The qi paths in one's body were as complicated as the stars all over the sky. There were a countless number of them. Some of them were tiny and difficult to find. Moreover, they were also extremely brittle. Forget about opening them, they would crack open even if one used a slightly stronger energy to charge at it. The three specific qi paths of the open mountain seal were coincidentally three remote ones on his right hand. One would definitely have to spend quite a large amount of time in order to open them up. This kind of Do technique which required one to open up certain veins in order to use was usually one with a terrifying strength or one that belonged to the legendary class. Back then, Xiao Yan did not need to purposefully open up any Qi paths when he practiced the flame-splitting tsunami. From this, one could tell just how unique this God Seal technique was. Ugh, Xiao Yan sighed softly. He shook his head helplessly. Now that things had progressed to this stage, he could only give it a try regardless of how difficult it was to open the three veins. If he were to give up practicing something that Sun Er spared no expense to leave for him, he would have really wasted her effort. Xiao Yan tossed aside the emotion within his heart. His mind gradually became quiet as he entered his training condition a moment later. Xiao Yan's mind swiftly arrived at the three veins that needed to be opened up after he entered his training mode. He eyed the three qi paths which were like three block cylinders and sighed once again. It appeared that he was going to have a headache. Xiao Yan's mind moved and a tiny thread of dou qi surged out from within his body. Finally, it circulated a couple of times under Xiao Yan's control before it finally arrived at this remote qi path. After which, it obeyed Xiao Yan's orders and carefully invaded that tiny qi path. Opening one's qi paths was an extremely painful thing. The intense pain that occurred when Do Qi cleared the Qi path and expanded was not something that an ordinary person could endure. However, the expected intense pain and difficulty to widen the Qi path did not appear when Do Qi was poured into that tiny Qi path. Although the flow of Do Qi was extremely slow due to the tiny size of the Qi path, Xiao Yan could clearly sense that the blocked feeling inside the Qi path was slowly disappearing. What is going on? Xiao Yan was somewhat stunned as he studied the qi path that was being gradually unblocked. His heart was filled with disbelief. Since when was opening up a qi path this easy? Of course, at this very moment, Xiao Yan was naturally unaware of the prolonged tug of war between the fallen heart flame and the strange liquid when he had entered into his near-death state while he was underground. The greatest victor during that tug of war was Xiao Yan's body. Regardless of whether it was his bones, qi paths, muscles, etc., in his body, all of them had been completely refined during that tug of war. Hence, any part inside Xiao Yan's body was tougher than those experts who had a strength similar to his. It was also due to his qi paths having previously been refined that Xiao Yan felt that opening up a qi path was this easy. This was similar to a tunnel whose outline had already been roughly constructed by someone. 
All the people who came after would only need to clear out some of the rock fragments that remained within the tunnel. If an ordinary person were to open their chi paths, it was likely that their chi paths would have already burst from the pressure of the dochi. How would it be possible to have Xiao Yan's progress? Although Xiao Yan was uncertain why opening a chi path had become this simple, this was something that did not hurt Xiao Yan even a little. Hence, in his wild joy, Xiao Yan began to unceasingly direct Dou Qi to strike this blocked Qi path. This Qi path, which he had never used, was quietly expanded at a slow pace by his Dou Qi. Although opening a Qi path had become much easier because of the prior refinement of the interior of his body, it was still a process that one needed to adhere to the rules. After all, the vein was currently too fragile. If one were to quietly use a little more force, one would cause it to burst apart. This risk was something that even Xiao Yan did not dare to take. Therefore, when the opening of the vein within his body progressed at a tortoise-like pace, the somewhat impatient Xiao Yan could only enter his training condition and split his attention into two different areas. No matter how slow or tortoise-like the pace was, there would ultimately be a time when it arrived at its destination. The first Qi path was finally opened by him five days after he had entered the deep mountains. He had formally took his first step in practicing the open mountain seal. After having some experience from the first attempt, Xiao Yan was a little more familiar with his remaining Qi paths. Although his speed was still similar to a tortoise moving, it would upset a person until he threw up blood and died if one compared his speed with another. The second Qi path was also opened up by Xiao Yan without any incident around 10 days or so after the first vein was opened. This kind of smooth training caused Xiao Yan to be so happy that he could not shut his mouth. According to this speed, it was likely that he would be able to completely finish the precondition of opening up the three Qi paths within one month. At that time, he would be able to formally practice the open mountain seal he coveted greatly. Time quietly flowed by in the deep mountains. Perhaps Xiao Yan's reminder had some effect on Medusa. Nothing had come to disturb him ever since he had entered his training condition. This enabled him to obtain an extremely quiet training environment. Exactly after one month, the young man on the mountain top who had his eyes shut, suddenly opened them. A substance-like glow flashed through his eyes before it gradually disappeared a moment later. Xiao Yan slowly stood up from the huge rock. He raised his head and let out a long breath. He had opened up three veins within a month. This kind of speed was something that even he himself could not quite believe. It was likely that this was quite a good result even when placed among Sun Er's clan. Since the Qi paths have been opened, next, it should be the time to formally practice the open mountain seal. Xiao Yan laughed softly. His right hand formed an extremely strange hand seal in front of him. The hand seal was pushed forward. This was naturally superfluous without any Dou Qi to activate it. However, Xiao Yan clearly understood that within a short period of time, the strength that the hand seal would emit would likely shock even himself. Chapter 649, Xiao Gate the lush green color radiating from the vast mountain forest was just like a green sea where one could not see its borders. A black-robed, young man was standing on a huge rock at the peak of a mountain within a certain part of this deep mountain range. His expression was solemn, as his right hand formed a strange seal and he immediately cried out loud, Open Mountain Seal! A powerful glow immediately surged from the young man's palm as the cry sounded. Following the appearance of the glow, his palm was suddenly pushed forward. However, the intense glow on his palm was like an epiphylum just as his palm moved and instantly disappeared. The palm that was swung merely carried a slight wind. A puff was emitted and a tiny pit was blasted into the ground. Xiao Yan helplessly shook his head as he studied the pit in the ground. He sat on the huge rock as he repeatedly exhaled coarse breath. The energy needed to drive this open mountain seal was really too strong, resulting in him being unable to repeatedly use it. This damn open mountain seal is actually this difficult to practice. Moreover, this is only the first seal. I really don't know just how terrifying the remaining four seals will be. 
Xiao Yan feebly leaned on a cool rock and muttered to himself with a bitter smile. It had been nearly five days since he had opened up the three qi paths. During these five days, Xiao Yan did not gain much progress in his practice of the open mountain palm. The difficulty of practicing this thing had far exceeded his imagination. In order to unleash the normal strength of the open mountain seal, one must complete the circulation of the dochi within one's body as well as make the formation of the hand seal at the same time. Otherwise, something like what happened a moment ago would happen. The energy would swiftly disappear after it had just appeared due to the inappropriate coordination. Finally, it would result in their strength falling to an appalling level. This kind of coordination usually required time to polish. It would be somewhat impossible if one wanted to swiftly succeed within a short period of time. Of course, this slow progress of his might also be related to this being the first time he had practiced such a hand seal do technique. Xiao Yan was also clearly aware of all of this. At the very least, he was much better than when he used it for the first time after five days of training. However, he was used to quick progress. Such a slow speed was something that he had some difficulty accepting. Ugh, it is indeed worthy of being a high-class Do technique. Looks like I can only take things slowly. Xiao Yan sighed and withdrew the anxiety within his heart. He sat cross-legged and calmed his mind. He his training mode to begin recovering his exhausted Do Qi. Currently, Xiao Yan's strength had already reached the peak of the Do Wang class. His absorption of the natural energy was naturally far from what his past self could compare with. Moreover, due to him refining the Fallen Heart Flame, the Flame Mantra had also evolved to the Di class low level. Of course, this was Xiao Yan's guess from the refining speed of the natural energy by the Flame Mantra. He was actually unable to guarantee that it had really broken through to the Di class. However, one thing that he was certain about was that the current flame mantra was not merely just a little stronger than before. Regardless of how much natural energy poured into his body, the flame mantra was able to orderly refine all of it. Finally it transformed into pure Do Qi that merged into his body. The strength of the Do Qi currently within Xiao Yan's body could not be compared with another person in the Do Wang class. Besides the repeated absorption of natural energy, the permanent raging heart flame also existed in his body. It repeatedly refined the Do Qi, causing it to possess a greater liveliness and explosive strength. From a certain point of view, Xiao Yan could even contend with some elite Do Huangs by just relying on the flame mantra and the heart flame. Of course, if he met a Do Huang who was a little stronger, he would need to use Do techniques to fight with such an opponent. For those peak elite Do Huangs, he would have to go all out. If it were someone even stronger, like Han Feng who had half a foot in the Do Zone class, he would need to make every effort in order to obtain a large chance of victory. However, Xiao Yan was dissatisfied with this kind of battle result. This was because he knew that he must defeat the person who truly controlled the Misty Cloud sect when he returns to the Jiuma Empire this time around, Yun Shan. Two years ago, Yun Shan had already stepped into the ultimately strong Do Zone class. Now that two years had passed, it was only natural that his strength would be even stronger. Xiao Yan clearly understood in his heart that even if he used the large-scale Angry Buddha Lotus Flame when fighting with an opponent of such strength, it was likely that his chances of victory would not be very high. Therefore, the current him needed a powerful fighting strength that could allow him to contend with a true elite Do Zone. The open mountain seal was his only hope. Therefore, no matter what happened, Xiao Yan had to completely master the open mountain seal of the God Seal technique before he returned to the Jiuma Empire. Otherwise, the risk would be too great. Back then, he was forced away like a dog that had lost its home as he was chased out of the Jiuma Empire. This could happen once, but it would never happen twice. Xiao Yan suddenly opened his eyes as this thought flashed through his heart. A coldness rushed over his dark black pupils. Yun Shan, just you wait. I, Xiao Yan, said that I will return, and I will definitely return to avenge this blood feud. Hatred flowed within Xiao Yan's heart as he suddenly stood up. The hand seal in his hand was swiftly formed, 
and the Dou Qi in his body was swiftly circulated at this moment. Open Mountain Seal I don't believe I cannot master you. The young man's tense face stared at the hot sun on the mountain peak as his hands danced tirelessly. Strange hand seals were flipped under the sunlight, leaving behind an unceasing number of afterimages. The coordination of powerful Dou Qi and his hand seal gradually became better as his hands formed countless numbers of seals. Black Corner Region Feng City Being the city in the Black Corner Region closest to the Inner Academy caused no other faction to dare step into it after Han Feng died. Hence, it gave Xiao Li the opportunity to grab it. After using bloody means to remove some resisting factions within the city, he completely controlled this city. During this half a month, Xiao Li had occupied Feng City. The Xiao Gate which Xiao Li established also gained some fame within the Black Corner region. However, the other factions mostly adopted an attitude of watching from the sidelines with cold eyes. They waited for the Jianan Academy to retaliate against this extremely bold faction, who they had never heard of before. According to their expectation, the current Jianan Academy would definitely not allow any other factions from the Black Corner region to control this city that was closest to the Inner Academy. However, what caused them to be surprised was that there was still no activity from the Inner Academy after nearly two months. This caused some of those significantly large factions from the Black Corner region who coveted Feng City to enter an uproar. After two years of development by Han Feng, Feng City was a large city that was one of the top ones within the Black Corner region. A couple of enormous auctions were conducted in this place during these two years. Although the popularity of Feng City had fallen to a low due to the death of Han Feng and the dissolution of the Black Alliance, it was still not something that one could underestimate from its size and population. This kind of desirable object was naturally something that possessed a great allure to those factions from the Black Corner region. In the past, no one dared to step into this city because they were afraid that the Inner Academy would interfere. However, now that they realized that this Xiao Gate remained untouched, it seemed that the Inner Academy had lowered their guard and did not want to pay too much attention to the Black Corner region. This had caused some factions to ready themselves to create trouble. From the way they saw it, how could a city with such rich profits be occupied by an unknown small faction? Therefore, there was finally a medium-sized faction who could not resist taking action after the Xiao Gate had occupied Feng City for around 20 days. This faction had around a hundred people. The strongest among them was a four-star Dou Wang. However, there was no news about this faction after it brought a large number of people and swaggered into Feng City. Some of the spies only became aware of the situation after making some inquiries. Nearly half of these people were killed by the Xiao Gate. The remainder had all surrendered. There was immediately some commotion within the Black Corner region the moment this news spread. According to the rules of the Black Corner region as long as a faction possessed an expert Dou Wang, it was considered a second-tier faction. If it possessed a Dou Huang, it would be considered a true first-tier faction. For those even stronger, they would possess an extraordinary position just like the Black Alliance in which no one would dare offend. Of course, this was with the exception of a similarly large being like the Jianan Academy. Being able to kill over half a second-tier faction, as well as get the other half to surrender meant that the strength of this Xiao Gate was likely one that possessed the qualification to nearly enter the category of a first-tier faction. This kind of strength was enough to cause some of the factions looking at it maliciously to weaken their hostility. Of course, with the allure of such a large egg like the Feng City, it was natural that one would not be able to enjoy an everlasting peace. Hence, the peace had only lasted for half a month before Xiao Li obtained news that three first-tier factions within the Black Corner region had joined hands to attack Feng City and take the managing rights from Xiao Gate. Three first-tier factions joining hands. This lineup might not be comparable to the Black Alliance back then, but it could not be underestimated. Faced with this kind of powerful attack which possessed at least three elite Dou Huangs, it was naturally impossible for Xiao Li's own strength to block it. Hence, a message pigeon quietly flew out from Feng City the moment the enormous amount of troops from the three large factions started to head for Feng City. 
Finally, it headed for the deep mountains within the inner academy. It swiftly flew over. Chapter 650, Three Large Factions Bang! An enormous jade green energy handprint suddenly surfaced in the sky. It immediately carried the frightening sound of rushing wind as it violently smashed into a mountain wall like a cannonball. Immediately, the entire mountain peak forcefully exploded and violently shook the entire mountain. An arm-thick crack line spread like a spider web from the mountain peak and covered the entire wall within a short period of time. Xiao Yan's expression carried a trace of whiteness as he watched the mountain peak that was on the verge of collapse while wearing a pale white expression. A joy that could not be hidden covered his dark black eyes. After practicing for many days, he had finally learned to control the rhythm, therefore, he was able to truly use the open mountain seal. Although the open mountain seal this time around was a little crude, Xiao Yan believed that he would definitely be able to reach complete mastery through practice if he was given sufficient time. At that time, the strength of this open mountain seal would likely become even more frightening. Everything was difficult at the beginning. Since Xiao Yan already possessed quite a good start, success was only a matter of time. Xiao Yan panted intensely. He flapped the dark green wings on his back, and slowly landed on a messy mountain top. After over a month of training, he had currently reached an initial mastery of the open mountain seal. If he wanted to reach complete mastery, he would need time and opportunity to hone it through actual combat experience. It is indeed worthy of being a DIG class high level DO technique. I had merely used it at its initial stage, but its strength is not any weaker than the flame splitting tsunami. I will have another trump card when fighting with another in the future. The dark green flame wings on Xiao Yan's back quietly disappeared as he softly laughed. Gee! A bird cry suddenly sounded in the sky just as Xiao Yan planned to recover the exhausted Dou Qi within his body. Xiao Yan lifted his head with some doubt before his expression slightly changed. He extended his hand and a suction force erupted. The messenger pigeon lingering in the sky was sucked down. Xiao Yan received a tiny bamboo tube from the leg of the messenger bird. He opened it and took out a piece of paper that was folded. His gaze swept over it and his expression sank. After musing for a moment, he flipped his finger and the piece of paper burst into flames. It turned into a pile of ashes that scattered down to the ground below. C.A.I. Lin Xiao Yan turned around and suddenly shouted loudly to the vast forest all around. However, there was not the slightest reaction even after a long time. Xiao Yan had no other choice as he cried out once again, Medusa, there is a problem. Come. This time around, a seven-colored glow finally rushed out from a certain part of the forest a short moment after the cry sounded. Within a couple of blinks, the cold, indifferent Queen Medusa appeared in front of Xiao Yan. There are some issues that require me to go to the Black Corner region. Let's go. Xiao Yan automatically ignored the cold face of Queen Medusa as he spoke. You can forget about getting me to be your free fighter. Medusa's eyebrows were vertical as she spoke in a cool voice. There will no longer be anyone who will help you refine the soul recovery pill if I die. Xiao Yan smiled indifferently. His back immediately shook and a beautiful pair of dark green fire wings appeared. The fire wings flapped and Xiao Yan's body swiftly rose up into the air as wild wind surrounded his body. Finally, he turned around and charged toward the Black Corner region. Xiao Yan knew that Xiao Li had met some trouble from the letter. However, he did not plan to gather helpers from the inner academy. With his current strength, there was basically no one who could stop him within the Black Corner region. Moreover, one should not forget Medusa who was currently following him after reaching an agreement to cooperate. This was a true elite Do zone. Moreover, she might be even stronger than Su Jian. Given Xiao Yan's and Medusa's strength, it was likely that they would be sufficient to sweep over the entire Black Corner region. The so-called Gold Silver Brothers might be able to join hands to delay Su Jian. However, if their opponent was Queen Medusa, it was likely that they would not be so lucky. After all, she was not an ordinary elite Do Zone. 
Medusa clenched her hand tightly as she watched Xiao Yan's figure that was gradually becoming distant. She hesitated for a moment before she angrily clenched her silver teeth. Her delicate legs stepped on empty sky as her figure transformed into a ray of light that swiftly caught up to the black figure in front. Feng City At this moment, all the attention within Feng City was gathered on the Grand Manor at the middle of the city. That place was likely the place where the one who controlled the city would be decided. Honestly speaking, most people within the city were not very interested in who would be the one in charge of the city. In any case, they knew that regardless of who was in control, they would ultimately be simply muddling along at the lowest level. Hence, they were even happier to see many factions having a big fight for the position to govern the city, resulting in blood flowing like a river. People who gloated over another's misery and liked to add insult to injury could be found all over the Black Corner region. Around half an hour ago, three large units had swaggered into Feng City before finally rushing to the manor where Medicine Emperor Han Feng had once resided. Currently, that place housed the faction who controlled Feng City, Xiao Gate. Most of the people within Feng City had heard of these three powerful factions. After all, their reputation was sufficient to spread all over the Black Corner region since they were first-tier factions. Hence, almost everyone was familiar with them. Dark Sky Sect, Luo Shagate, and Wild Lion Gang. These three large factions were extremely renowned, powerful factions within the Black Corner region. The leaders of the three large factions were experts who were ranked within the top ten of the Black Ranking. Any random person among them was not weaker than Fan Lao who had died in Xiao Yan's hands. These three large factions dominated the Black Corner region and had always been overbearing. They even ignored Han Feng when he invited these three large factions to join him when he had established the Black Alliance. This kind of action might have caused Han Feng to be extremely furious, but he had let things be because he was afraid of the strength of these three large factions. Back then, the Black Alliance was very grand. However, these three factions were able to choose to reject joining them even in that kind of situation. From this, one could tell that they possessed quite the strong capital. After all, the leaders of the three large factions were no fools. They would naturally be unwilling to offend those whom they could not afford to offend, although Han Feng was someone whom they were afraid of, it was far from the point where they had to bow before him. There were many people who felt pity for the so-called Xiao Gate now that these three factions had sent their forces into Feng City. In the eyes of many people, Xiao Gate was just like a student meeting a master when faced with these three old first-tier factions despite the Xiao Gate possessing a qualification that was near a first-tier faction. If the leader of Xiao Gate was sensible, he would obediently hand over the rights to control the city. This was the wisest choice. In an wide hall within a large courtyard, the atmosphere was extremely tense and seemed like it would explode with a single spark. There were currently four groups of people within the hall at this moment. The one furthest in was naturally Xiao Gate who controlled the city. Those three others on the outside seemed to be the people from the so-called Dark Sky Sect, Luo Sha Gate, and Wild Lion Gang. You are the leader of Xiao Gate right? I shall not beat around the bush. Don't blame us for washing this place with blood if you don't give me a clear answer within an hour. A middle-aged large man with a bare chest that showed an enormous lion roaring toward the sky was faintly visible on his chest glanced at Xiao Li. A smile surfaced on his face which was filled with a bloody scent. Ahem. Sect leader Yan is still so forthright. However, I also approve of these words of his. The middle-aged man had just spoken when a sexily clad beautiful woman covered her mouth and gave a loving laugh. There was a flirtatious poppy flower tattooed on the side of her face near her ear. Although it was beautiful, it possessed a lethal poison. A shadowy-faced old man on the other side laughed darkly. His shriveled bone-like hand moved on the table, the old me has not fought for a period of time. I wonder if I will be as ruthless like in the past if I do so. There were nearly a hundred people standing in a scattered manner behind these three people. The bodies of these people were covered in blood. Their gazes were as cold as wild beasts when they swept around. Xiao Li's gaze was dark and cold as he observed the three people who were singing the same tune. 
there were a hundred black clothed men gathered behind him. The bloody stench on their bodies was not any weaker than those fellows in front of him. At one glance, one could tell that they had rich battle experience and were vicious individuals. The reason the other party did not act immediately upon their arrival was partly because of the significantly strong aura of these black clothed individuals on Xiao Li's side. Otherwise, they would have long since attacked right away given their character. Why else would they repeatedly chatter in this place? I am clearly aware that the three of you have quite big fists within the black corner region. You are all strong and there is nothing I can do if you want to occupy Feng City. It is possible for me to hand over Feng City. But, there is only one city. Who should I hand it over to? Xiao Li played with the teacup in his hand when he suddenly asked a question. There was a slight change in the atmosphere within the hall when Xiao Li's words sounded. A moment later, that sexily clad beautiful woman laughed, Your scheming is not bad, but this kind of plan to alienate us with one another is useless. You need not worry about who is eventually going to be in charge of this city. All you need to do is to lead your people out of Feng City. Xiao Li's hand tightened its grip on the teacup. He sighed with some disappointment in his heart. They were indeed very experienced and did not show any sign of falling for this ruse. It is possible for us to leave Feng City. However, I am not the leader of Xiao Gate. Should you not wait for our leader to return if you want us to get lost? Xiao Li frowned. Some killing intent surfaced on his cold face as he spoke in a deep voice. The current him needed to fight for some time for Xiao Yan to hurry back. Chattering non-stop. Where did you find all this nonsense to say? The old me is not here to discuss anything with you. I am here to inform you to get out of this city. The large man with exposed arms immediately widened his eyes at Xiao Li's words. His palm slammed onto the table in front of him until it was in pieces as he let out a savage laugh. Xiao Li's expression immediately became gloomy. The large group of black-clothed men behind him also emitted a clang sound as they drew their weapons from their waists. In an instant, the atmosphere within the hall had become anxious with swords drawn. It was one that would break out into a killing fight at the slightest disagreement. KK, you want my Xiao Gate to get out of Feng City? Even Han Feng wasn't qualified to do so. What makes you think you have the right? A faint cold laugh suddenly resounded just as the atmosphere was about to completely collapse. A black figure immediately appeared in the middle of the hall in a ghost-like manner in front of everyone's eyes. 